Fantana High School classes of 2001 through 2004, along with school staff, will be joining together today to honor the two people who were killed in the Santana High shooting back on March 5th, 2001. Rachel Maurice was a 16-year-old junior at the time of the shooting, and she now joins us to talk more about tonight's vigil. Hi, uh, Maurice, I, I, or Rachel, I, I, I appreciate you joining us. I, it's a, just a sad anniversary, obviously a tragic anniversary, but an important one nonetheless, is it not? Absolutely it is. It's very important for us. Well, take us back to that day. What, what do you remember? Oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. Um, I, it's tragic day. It's really hard. It's always very emotional. And I know for everybody else, it's been 20 years. And for me, it's been 20 years, but it feels it's everyday struggle. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I, I can remember being in the newsroom when all that was uh, coming out. And first it was a, a report of a lockdown. And then as the afternoon progressed, it just got worse and worse with the news. Uh, you knew one of the victims pretty well, did you not? I did. I was friends with Randy. Well, talk about that friendship. You know what? We were great friends. I He was a senior at the time I was a junior. I met him my freshman year and we just developed a friendship. Um, over a comic book, ironically, he thought that it was pretty cool that a girl was walking around high school with a comic book, and he said we could definitely be friends, and that's what started our friendship. Well, that uh, did you know Brian at all? I did not. I've only since learned through him, through his mother. I did not know him. So Randy Gordon and Brian Zucker, the two victims of, the, of that madness that day. Did you witness any of it other than being escorted locked down? Did you hear it, see it? I saw everything, yes. I was right in the middle of the chaos when it occurred. Um, and so that's been part of my trauma. Yeah, I bet. What happens when, I mean, at first, does it even register that what's going on? It absolutely does not register, even when you see it in the moment. It's not like the movies. It's not like anything they say or do. Um, gunshots don't even register that they're gunshots. So uh, t now 20 years later, you want to commemorate your friend and former, as well as another classmate with a uh, candlelight vigil. Explain to us where everyone's gonna be and how it's all gonna go down. Yeah, I really want survivors to know that you are not alone. And so we are holding a candlelight vigil at the Santana High School right in front. Um, the, and we're going to host a, a candlelight vigil at 7 p.m. We're going to be right in front of this school. It's where we have, for the past 20 years, commemorated um, and remembered Brandy and Brian and for all of us. I'm going to... Don't, don't meet, let me put words in your mouth, but I'm, I'm assuming those get-togethers help ease the sting and, and perhaps build towards a better future, right? Absolutely, they help. They are vital to the journey of a survivor. That personal connection and being able to see each other in person is critical to just the long-term recovery of what it's like to be a survivor. There's nothing like being with each other in person. So how's your life now? What, what, what do you do? Yeah, my life now, Really, honestly, it's um, it's hard. It's been hard the last 20 years. Um, and now I spend my time focused on ensuring other survivors know that they're not alone and that help is available and that it's critical to our success and our long-term journey. Rachel, I think those are great words to end on. I, I wish you a great turnout tonight and I wish you peace as, as time goes by. I, I know it's a day-to-day -day struggle, and we're all with you there. Thank you so much. Rachel Marie's uh, promoting tonight's re vig candlelight vigil for Santa.